Mercury's main objective is to enhance our understanding of the solar system, both past and present, by exploring the planets, their moons, and other small celestial bodies. Discovery missions are competitively selected through an extensive peer review process. A principal investigator for each mission develops science objectives and an instrument payload, selects team members, and assures that cost, schedule, and performance objectives are met. Teaming arrangements among NASA centers, universities, industry, and other organizations are encouraged, thus combining the necessary skills and expertise to carry out a mission from concept development through data return and analysis. A little more water on top of it? Ladies and gentlemen, we have a comment. Discovery is one of the first NASA programs to require that mission proposals include a comprehensive education and public outreach plan in order to communicate NASA's vision of bringing the excitement of space exploration to the public. Discovery is reaching students of all ages with innovative methods that support national education initiatives. Ten Discovery missions have been selected since the program's inception in 1992. Half of the missions explore and investigate unique aspects of small primitive solar system bodies, the asteroids and comets. The icy and rocky comets were formed 4.6 billion years ago at the same time as the nine planets began to take shape. Cometary ice may have played a role in forming our oceans and atmosphere. Asteroids, rocky and often iron-rich minor planets that are devoid of atmospheres, range from pebble size to almost 1,000 kilometers in diameter. Yet the mass of all solar system asteroids is barely equal to that of our moon. Asteroids and comets have changed very little since their formation and offer scientists a close-up look at the primordial elements from which Earth and the other planets were formed. Each discovery mission will add a new piece of knowledge to help solve the cosmic puzzle. 